Hello, everybody. I'm George Kenner. I'm a laser addict. In the last three years, I've gone from a diode laser to probably one of the finest CO2 machines that you can buy. This not only has a glass tube, but an RF tube. It's the Eon Supernova Redline. I mean, it's a phenomenal machine. But before I go further, I want to, I want to enter a disclaimer. I am a partner with Eon. If you were to tell them during the process of purchasing that my videos helped you purchase, they're going to give me some kind of consideration, either in product or potentially cash. Now, having said that, I want you to verify everything that I say. Please verify. The machines change, the market changes. You could be watching this a year and a half from now and the material in the market may have changed a little bit. Maybe one of the offerings of the machine is slightly different than what I'm going to say. So verify. Eon wants you to get the best tool for the job, and that's what I want. You can go into the Facebook group Laser Freedom and openly talk with anyone else, and there's about a thousand members in there now that own multiple different machines. That is a service that I provide personally because I'm not tied to which machine you buy. I want you to get the best machine, which is the exact same thing Eon does. Buy the best machine for the job. If an inexpensive machine is going to do a short production run for you, then that may be the way to go. But you need to analyze that. I'm in fact thinking about writing a book, I've already started it, that will have a graph in the back of it that goes through everything that I went through in the shopping process. And I'm rather an analytical person. I went to the International Sign Association show in Orlando, Florida, about a year ago. Eon held this information very close to the chest. I didn't even know what they were introducing, but I, I was told I needed to be there. They introduced the Red Line series of machines. The Red Line and everything, again, verify for the model. You can literally walk up to the lens, the laser lens, and extract it from the holder without any tools. It allows for cleaning. This particular machine even has a heat sensor on the lens, so if it starts to get burnt, dirty, you'll know to remove it and clean it, thus saving you a lens. Sometimes the more expensive machines really have features in them that are important to the commercial operator, and this certainly is a commercial machine. I went down after I ordered this machine to Melbourne, and where I had been before and always paid my own way, and I paid my way down there this time, to see the technicians do what I call the pre-delivery inspection. Just like when a mechanic goes over and makes sure that Ford or Chevrolet did the, the, did the best job they could on the truck and that through transit nothing's happened, they do the same thing. They literally open up the entire machine and then they test it. This is the testing grid from that test. The accuracy of the RF tube in this machine is just amazing. The machine arrived. How do I get it off the crate? Well, they think of literally everything at Eon. They even inserted two, I'll call them runway ramps, that I attached to the pallet. I took one of the faces of the board and rolled the machine right off of the right off the pallet. Many people end up jacking them up, four by fours. It gets to be a nightmare. This was the easiest delivery machine. In fact, it was actually easier to get this off of the pallet than it was my Mira, which I needed to get three guys to help me lift up on the crate. And these are heavy duty machines. I would call them more commercial grade than hobby grade, but Hobbyists buy these things on a regular basis because they want the quality results. And face it, you know, they're a lot less money than say a new Harley Davidson. I put water in it. It doesn't come with water. The laser tube is of course cooled with water. Some people will put an ethylene glycol, something like automotive coolant in the machine. There's there's so much more I'm going to do with this machine. 
I'll show you a picture of the first engrave that I did with the RF tube. This is the quality that came off the wood with no side burning, no overburn at all. It's just amazing. And the speed of this machine, it just smokes. And commercial laser engraving, time is money. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. If there's anything that you'd like me to do, I'm gonna take and uh, roll the machine back out into the garage and take some pictures of the interior panels and I'll go over the machine and yet another review. But after three years going from diode to this, be careful, laser addiction is real. This thing will make a lot of really cool products. Everything from engraved leather, do tumblers. Matter of fact, Eon even has a tumbler system where you can put six tumblers on at one time. This, the reason I set this out here, I have an Amazon influencer store. All the things that are in my office or in, in my shop are featured there. If I like it, it's there. I don't have to have uh, a, a relationship with somebody that pays me to tell you that I like the, a product. This thing is great. I mean, I load it up with half alcohol and half water and I utilize it to clean wood projects and epoxy because the alcohol will dry the water away very quickly in about a 50-50 mix. Just a little hint. Anything I can do to help, please reach out. I wish you the very best. Thank you.